two draws. He is the Thai Fight League champion at 69 kilograms. There you can see the tail of the tape for this one. Ragnarong with a lot more experience in the sport of Muay Thai, but of course, a lot more experience here on Thai Fight League as well. Yeah, that Kachuk being the real difference maker in most of the matches. Indeed. Last time that we saw him was on Thai Fight League 46, where he defeated Ali Barami Samet by decision. I think his most notable win, or one of them, was against Busan in Thai Fight League 33, where he knocked out the young prodigy in the Isuzu Thailand Championship before then exiting the tournament to take up a new career. That's right. But I guess it's not worked out because <laughs> he's back here tonight. Either that or he's taking a sabbatical. I don't know. Or he's doing a little bit of both. I think he can do that. Maybe. But judging by his gym name, I assume that he is in the army at the moment. It is a special force base, I suppose. I don't know my army ter terminology. So we were saying when we were doing a little bit of research earlier. E.B. King, training out of uh, CJMM. CJMM, yeah. Yeah, the same as uh, Miriam Sabo up in Chiang Mai. Miriam, of course, providing a great fight for Farsai early on this evening, but coming up a little bit short. She did give a good account of herself. Let's see what Ewan can do from Sheffield. Hope everyone around the world watching on the Thai Fight League International YouTube channel is enjoying themselves and has had a great week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're very close to 70,000 subscribers now. The referee in charge for this one is Pong Pat Wong Wai. Judge the ringside of Phuket Prabayun, Som Chai Koho Tong, and Anchali Gong Rak. Yeah, Ragnar Rong. He has been impressive each time he's competed here on Thai Fight League. But interested to see what Ewan can do. I mean, that's what Thai Fight League is all about. Bringing in people that may have not had their chances to be on television just yet. There's also a lot of fighters out there, believe it or not, when they get the opportunity to fight Car Chirk, that they jump at the chance. Yeah. Even though they might have other opportunities, there's something about... It's almost like a potential once in a lifetime thing. Yeah, for a lot, maybe a once in a lifetime, but then all of a sudden they realize they're good at it. But yeah, exactly. Left and right hand there, straight away from Ewan. Good start. And again, that time going to the body. Might have a boxing background because those are some beautiful time. Left and right hooks, not only to the head, but to the body there. Does he a left hand though? Good teeth there from Ewan. Nicely timed. Yeah, start yeah. there from the Englishman. I hope Ragnarok has his helmet secured right now because he's going to need it. These are some big bombs being thrown by Ewan. And again with that right hand. Finding a hole once again. He makes it look so effortless. It does. However, that shot that he took to his left eye was actually, you can see it's swollen already, unfortunately, for Ewan. Hopefully that doesn't impede his vision too much anyway. And again, stabbing jab and then a right hand from Ragnarong. Ewan going down to the body. Ragnarong against the ropes here. Another left hand there from Ewan. Right elbow shot from the Englishman. Good elbow by Ragnarong. His blood a thick flowing from Ragnarong's head. Well, something was bothering him anyway. Two jabs there from Ragnarong to that eye once again. Big knee there from Ragnarong. Fair to say, it's in Ewan's best interest to stay on the outside. Absolutely. Because on the inside, you can see the work that Ragnarok's doing right now. Big left elbow from Ragnarok. So far, Ewan's best weapons or best attacks I've seen so far are the punches. I have to say, though, I really appreciate, I think we both do, when you see fighters going to the body, just like you and Andy D. Ragnarok's doing right now. Switching levels. And it's not often you see fighters actually blocking those shots. It's a a big pathway to victory for a lot of fighters here on Thai Fight League, as we've witnessed over the uh, 52 plus weeks. But there's no doubt about it, Ewan needs to stay on the outside. His best weapons are his hands, there's no doubt about it. Oh, when absolutely. he's on the inside, it's all gone. Great low oh, kick though. Oh, he's injured himself. Something's wrong. And he wrapped the rocks, jumped all over him as well. He's shot as well. He's 
looks like it's a finish near Ragnarok. He was compromised, but I'm not sure why. Look at the spinning back elbow. Left kick to the body. Left up there from Ewan. What a chin he's got though, taking some big shots from Ragnarok and he's still on his feet. Yeah, you can see this blood actually going from the top of the nose of Ragnarok. Well, Ewan has inflicted some damage. Oh, big left knee! Big round of brutal action here. Here on Thai Fight League. Well, a brutal round of Muay Thai action here from the first bell to the end of round number one. A round when we looked at the camera close up, Ragnarong, we believe, has broken his nose in this round due to those excellent boxing skills from Ewan. Even there, he was compromised. Was it the right leg? Not Whatever it was, I'm not sure. Is it there? It must have been that spinning back elbow straight to the nose. And I said, you know, Ragnarong was trying to wipe something away from his face. I actually think it's it is broken. His it nose is, is broken. broken. Now the doctor, in one of the previous battles, actually stop a fight due to a broken nose. So maybe questions need to be asked here. There's a lot of curves there. My <laughs> goodness. Yeah, that's just left us speechless. Absolutely. Spinning back elbow broken. I've got to tell you, the toughness. Oh, we are going to get a doctor to take a look at it. Thank goodness for that. I like the consistency. But surely. <laughs> well, yeah, the true consistency would be that he stops the fight because it's broken. Reacted to it. No, doctor says no, there's no way. There's yeah, there no you way. Go. A broken nose. Congratulations, Ewan Bradshaw King has just defeated a fighter who has not lost here on Thai Fight League. A spinning back elbow. For you and Brad, shocking. I think we're gonna have another look at it right here. Bang! Ducked under the shot and went for it and found a home. I'll tell you what, we saw tremendous action there in the first round, and I was about to say, Ragnar Wrong definitely won that one yeah, in, in the first round. Did. There's no doubt about it. I mean, he come from you and uh, remember we backed him into the corner after I think he threw a right low kick. Looked like he was in a lot of pain. Ragnar Wrong went in for the kill, but yeah, and the doctor, we saw it. The winner by technical knockout, White Connor Ewan from England. <laughs>